Trummel's first viral hit with Valspar, Colors for All. Let's take a look. I've had moments where girls would make fun of me for not knowing girly shades. I thought maybe I wasn't intelligent enough to tell, because I didn't know, and I didn't tell my parents, so I just, I stopped painting and drawing. There's some drawings where I wish I could see how my kids put the colors together and what they were visualizing. I've never been able to see this one. And I just want to cry a little bit. <laughs> um, I never realized like how much I was affected by the fact that I can't see the world like the way that other people see the world. When he's drawing, I see him going in and out of his crayon box like 150 times sometimes. Oh wow, that's cool. And now I kind of know why. There's a lot more colors here. So is that what you guys see every day? Yeah? <laughs> and color is an amazing experience that I think people probably take for granted. There we go. And right now, right now, we're joined by one of the people, uh, one of the participants in that. Uh, Valspar Spot. Uh, she is a writer producer from the Bay Area, but now she lives in New York City and she's going to join us. Her name is Atlee Feingold. Atlee, are you there? I'm here. Can you see me? Hey, Atlee. How's hey, it going? Hi. How you doing? It's good. Great. You have great energy in that video. Just like the, the energy and the spirit you're putting off. I'm like, this is pretty <laughs> cool. Atlee's pretty cool. That's a very cool name, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying it correctly. <laughs> so, can you tell me? When you put those glasses on, I and mean, we're trying to get to trying to look back and explain the moment, you put them on, you thought you felt what? So I was actually not diagnosed till I was in second grade. They actually thought I had a learning disability and they brought me in for a bunch of different things. They thought I had ADD. I went to all these different psychologists and stuff. They finally found out when I was like eight because it's very rare for girls to be as colorblind as I am. Um, so I live with this. And no one talks about it as well, like as many other people on here have said, like it's not a, a disability or a deficiency that anyone really speaks about per se. So I just kind of went my whole life knowing it, but not really like fully thinking about it in a deep way, which sounds weird, but I just never did. And then when I put on the glasses, I did not think I was gonna have an emotional response. I really did not. I thought I was just gonna, I don't know what I thought, but right when I put them on, and I saw all the different shades that I've never seen. I just immediately started crying. Oh. I really realized like how I already think the world is just so incredible as is. And then to put the glasses on and see what everybody else saw, just like the other man said, I was just so overwhelmed. It was, it was very overwhelming. Like, yeah. It's even more wonderful than I thought, right? It's like being a baby, you know, and learning things and experiencing things for the first time. I mean, that's literally how we feel. We've never seen these things before. Right. So, yeah, it was, it was weird. It was amazing and crazy. I, I, I like your phrase. You said a, a colorful baby mobile. Literally, like, it's like you were awakened to a new reality, you know, that you never saw before. And so it was pretty, pretty mind blowing. Okay, so um, uh, we understand your father is colorblind as well. And yes. so what was that dynamic like when you were a kid? You guys were both walking down the street. Not <laughs> so my mom would always make fun of us, just the way that we would dress and stuff. <laughs> would always be really mismatched. And um, I often, I think, looked a little, maybe brighter and intense than I thought that I did because the colors that I chose to me look pretty muted but to other people I think it's it's pretty intense and same with my dad so we were constantly being made fun as you know as when I was growing up and stuff things like that I mean literally everything is color-coded as some other guests were saying so you're just hitting up against this all the time and my younger brother is colorblind as well but not as severely as me surprisingly so we're constantly kind of joking and comparing different things. And it's nice to not be the only one colorblind in the family, for sure. Oh, yeah. OK, so, so how, how, how much younger is your brother than you? So this brother is seven years, the one that's partially colorblind. Wow. Yeah, and then I have a, an older brother and a middle brother, and they're not colorblind. Not at all. No. Yet some people 
hit you that yeah yeah. yeah, and my dad and me have the same. So we're like severely colorblind in the red and green deficient. I remember I took the test for echroma for Valspar for the the documentary, and I was that was the first time I really was told, oh, I'm in the very severe percentage. I'd right. never really looked into it, so that was kind of an interesting moment as well. Yeah, I, I'm I'm trying to wrap my mind around seeing you coming down the street in some crazy colors like i'm looking pretty cool today right i think i yeah. got it better. yeah i have a very specific memory um of a fourth of july where i was upstairs getting dressed and i thought i looked fly and i had what i thought was my red and what i thought was my blue and what i thought was my white and i came downstairs and my mother was like no and i was wearing like i don't even know what i was wearing like fuchsia and purple and it was just wild Oh my goodness. In your own red, white, and blue, but not the real red, white, and blue. Correct. Wow. Correct. <laughs> wow. Okay. So uh, I think we covered. Oh, wait, wait. I want to ask you about this. Um, the parking, the parking zones. Yes. And LA is hard for a regular person with right. the parking situation, we all know. Okay. Okay. And then if you're colorblind, I've had to literally get out of my car and say, excuse me, excuse me, ma'am what color is this oh, my word. Times. because i've gotten tickets thinking i was parked just in a regular gray sidewalk turns out it's red i can't see red right uh, so that's been a bummer <laughs> and then the newest thing which i i actually gifted my glasses to my father because you know he's 60 years old he's never been able to see real color so that was really exciting for him and so i'm hoping to get some new glasses because now i work as a film and tv editor and we have to color, right? So just like the soldier, I forget her name, was saying she had to like develop workarounds for the medical field. For coloring, I have to remember like different scopes and very specific things instead of just being able to look with my eyes and figure out how to color balance. So I, I feel like I run up against this all the time. Now you don't have to talk to strangers because if you get your... Yeah. If I get a pair of glasses, I don't have to talk to strangers, yes. So we have to work something out. We'll talk to the upper ups and make sure you gifted your father. You got you gotta you gotta have some. You, Amazing. You, you know. Yes, yes. Start it up, you deserve some some glasses, right? They yes, they're they are they are amazing and I feel like it's really a cool experience to be someone that has seen in your own perspective and then gets to see the way that, you know normal people get to see so you kind of get two worlds in one life and i think that's pretty nice pretty neat yeah two worlds in one lifetime yeah one that you think is wonderful and then this put an exponent on that and it's even more wonderful yeah actually i was joking with the crew on that show um, when we were filming because i said you know i think i was made colorblind on purpose because I'm so sensitive and like, I already think the world is amazing. And I think if I saw the way you guys saw every day, I would just be like, hang <laughs> out. Wow. Atlee, it was a real pleasure meeting you. Yes, really? you too. Yeah. Thank and you so I much. We'll see you again without question. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye-bye.